eternity later. What is up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Parang legit. Welcome to my channel. This will be my first vlog. So I decided na gumawa ng different content. If you're already subscribed to this channel, mga lilabas ko na videos previously were all drum covers. So today, I decided to do a little bit different. So yeah, welcome to my first vlog. This is happening. Alright. Yeah, so today guys, for my first vlog, I'm gonna share to you how I record my drum covers, how I produce some drum tracks uh, using my gear. So basically, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo what gears do I have, the software that I use, how literally how I use them. Um, just a disclaimer though, I'm not a professional sound engineer. I'm not even a professional drummer. So this is not a tutorial at all. So this is just my way of sharing to you how I produced the previous videos that I did. I learned from scratch. So for you guys out there who are considering to try a new hobby, um, drumming is not bad to consider. So um, this is actually a very good pastime. Um, you can turn it into your passion. There's a bit of physicality in there, a lot of artistry in there. And if you're really into music and you want to just groove and you know, just be with the music, I think drums is one of the best ways to do that. But first off, ngayong araw, I'm just going to show you the type of the drums that I, that I use, which is an electronic drum kit, uh, software that I use. And I have two ways or two methods on how I usually do or produce my drum tracks or drum videos. So with that, we'll take a closer look on the things that I use. So, magkakaroon tayo ng mini tour dito sa aking workstation. And as you can see, I really have just enough space for this, which is working perfectly well for me. So, yeah, let's go. So, as you can see, my drums is set up inside my inside our bedroom. Um, so, ganyan lang kalit yung space, and then and na yung drums go. And that little tiny space there. Yan ang aking workstation. Wow! <laughs> okay, so before we start rigging up the drums into my computer, uh, papakita ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung actual na drum kit na ginagamit ko, which is an electronic drum set, uh, Millennium MPS 850. So if you're gonna have a look at the module there. Actually, this, this is a very reasonably priced drum kit. Very sulit na sulit siya sa presyo niya and sa specs na meron siya. But the biggest takeaway for me here actually is this one. It's um, open close controlled hi hat, oh, which is yeah. aside from maporma siya tignan, it adds up to that feel of a real drum kit na hindi mo madalas nakikita sa other variants of e drum kits. But I think um, if not all, most of them na lumalabas sa mga bago ngayon, um, halos ganito na lahat. But Millennium MPS, like brand-wise, it's very actually durable for its price. But I wouldn't say that it would actually live up to the reputation and the quality of yung mga Roland, yung mga high-end na, na drum kits out there. But for its price, actually, sulit na sulit. I'm very happy with it. Um, there's just a tiny bit issue with the durability. Because if you can see, like the rim of the snare here is made of rubber. And I have mga dents actually dito agad. But to be fair, I've had this for a year now. But I myself is a naturally hard hitter. So um, I didn't really get the proper technique. I'm a self-taught drummer. I played drums for a rock band eh, back in college for a few years. Uh, early days of B-Collect. So shout out B-Collect. Sakang malupit. Boss ads. <laughs> so this is it. Um, there's a bit of issue as well with regards to the quality of the heads, especially the kick heads. So napunit na siya. Oh, man. That's but it's actually okay. It's a few piece kit. Actually, there's a snare. Um, two. There should be two high toms and then two rack toms. But I just I just set this up based on my preference. So isalang na 
na tom there and two rock toms there. You have your hi hat, uh, you have a crash, you have a ride, and you have an extra crash on the right. And that's the mojo. I'm just gonna show you guys what are the main things or equipments needed for this. So for those uh, beginners or non-drummers out there, at least you'll have um, an idea on how uh, drum covers or YouTube videos are being produced basically. So first off, what you need is, of course, drums. Oh yeah. In this case, I use an electronic drum kit and this is a Millennium MPS 850. Personally, like anytime I would still choose the acoustic drum kits, but because I live in an apartment and I just usually do home recordings, home drumming, I don't really play gigs now nowadays. Oh. I think this is the better fit for, for that purpose. For the first method, we need a USB cable or the printer cable. For the second method, um, I bought another equipment, a very, very tiny gadget. This is an iRig. It, it works basically as audio interface. Kaya mas madaling gamitin to. I usually use this for quick drum covers, especially like if you want to record your, yourself playing drums with, with backing track and then post it right away to social media, YouTube, or um, Instagram or whatever this is quite handy and of course one of the most important things as well is your computer and I use a MacBook Pro I think this is the old edition it works perfectly for me it's it's fast enough because um, your mga drum covers basically are very short clips anyway and you don't need really high quality editing for that so this quite does the job for me and the software that I use para sa aking uh, digital audio workstation is Reaper. I've tried many things before. They're all quite very functional. Pero sa Reaper talaga, it's very user-friendly. Especially for a beginner like me na walang background sa sound engineering. It's quite, quite very handy to, to start with. With the others, actually, I tried very hard but I failed to get it up and running. But with Reaper, I find it very handy. So if you want to start on uh, video producing or video recording, you can start with Reaper. For the first method that I use, you would need a drum VST. So there are a lot of free drum VSTs out there. You can check all other uh, YouTube videos with the links on that. So sila talaga yung mga professional drummers who have deep understanding of um, sound engineering so you guys check them out they're more informative so for the VST I use a Steven Slate drum 5 I'm still kind of like fiddling around with it I think pretty soon um, mapapabili ako ng full feature niya and with that I think you can start um, recording your drums so now we're gonna try to rig up the drums into the computer. I'm gonna show it to you the first method that I use which is um, through a VST into the DAW and we're gonna use this just the USB cable so first off we're just gonna power up the drums there and uh, see the light and it's on. Let's connect na the um, USB cable so we're very lucky nowadays because with this drum module with the USB MIDI output Hindi mo na siya kailangan gamitin ng interface wow. or brain. Um, unlike before, the older uh, variants of drum kits, you still have to use the interface. So this is the printer cable. So just connect it there. Yeah, so just pretty much straightforward. And then the other end will be connected to the computer. So for Mac users, you would need this Type-C adapter. To be able to go to your computer. <laughs> and then that goes into the port on the side. Okay, so once that's connected, you can open the, your DAW, which is for in this case Reaper. That's it. And you can just insert your virtual instrument or what's, what I said earlier is the VST, which is the Steven Slate drums. And it's all rigged up. So if you can see, if I hit this one, that that can sense that as well. See, 
you can see that there's a blue light going on in there so that's it you're rigged up and you're ready to go it's good with this actually is you can channel each and every drum kit that you have so pwede mo siya mabalance um, in whatever preference that you need so now we'll go on to the next so that's the first method that i use and now i'm gonna go on to the second method which is with the eye rig so i'm gonna use this bad boy and actually mas madali ito because um pwede mo siya direct sa you don't have to use the vst you just have to connect your drums into the the microphone jack of your computer and then you're good to go um disadvantage lang nito though pros and cons with the two methods that i use for the first method as i've said earlier you can do more with regards to mixing manipulation of the sound of your drums so pwede ka makaproduce ng uh, more professionally sounding drum kit na, or drum track oh. that um, your stock kit don't have but for this method kagandahan lang dito is man madali um, you can still manipulate a bit of the sound you can add some effects like reverb you can adjust the dryness but there's uh, there are more limitations compared to the other oh. option yeah i'm gonna show you how it's done okay so for this method with the irig you would need a normal guitar cable would do like this so you just need to put this in the output on the mono so that would be this one Lagay mo lang siya, and then the other end goes through the irig so kagandahan din pala dito sa irig is you can put uh, earphones there so you can monitor the real-time sound that you're playing as well as the backing track if you have so ilagay mo dito yung earphones mo and then you can listen from there bago pa siya dumating dun sa computer nice. and then this one you just put into the earphone jack or the microphone jack of the computer on the side and then you're good to go okay so once you've connected the iRig into the module ngayon i-connect mo naman siya doon sa ear microphone jack of the computer and open your reaper and arm it and then that so you can you can see the orange there it rises up once it detects a sound so pag hinahampas ko see doon na siya tumutunog so that's it for rigging up your computer and your drum kit together so now i'm gonna show you guys how i feed the sound for the actual playing that I do and the backing track that I use. So I use two separate feeds to feed the backing track and so that I can have a monitor on the actual playing that I do from the drums. Just the offside that I that I observed with using the DAW actually is it's very hard to manipulate the latency. I've already narrowed it down to zero latency but there's still like an off uh, feeling from it. So hindi siya ganun ka tight compared to when you're used to playing on the real drum kit. Meron talaga siyang very very slight off latency on that. So it just actually because I'm not a seasoned drummer, it it easily throws me off. Like personally, my time is not really that good. I'm aminado ta aminado ako diyan. Plus meron pang ganun na factor, so it really throws off my playing. So what I do is I have an earphone that feeds the actual sound from the module because it's more real time to say it's tighter rather than having the feed of the drums na dumaan na sa do and coming out of the computer so i use this directly into the module but i use one more earphone to actually feed my backing track so i would usually um connect this into the device where my backing track is uh, coming from so usually phone or whatever mp3 player so you can connect this and goes into my ear Tapos, pinapatungan ko lang siya nito so that I can have both feeds at the same time. Nice. That's quite tight in nature. So, hindi, hindi, hindi ako ma... It won't throw me out of time um, on top of the off timing that I have personally. I'm not really gifted with So, that. for the camera, I just use an iPhone camera, uh, which works perfectly well for me. It has high quality video. I don't really require that very high resolution uh, camera. Yeah, I'm happy with it as of the moment. You don't have to worry about the audio coming in from the camera because you have to put in the sound from your actual drum cover anyway and your backing track on the video. So you just need a decent camera and it's up for you and how, how would you want it to come out or how you want to produce it. Okay, so that's basically how I record my drums. Yeah, I'm just going to play around for a minute and I'll see you guys later, okay?
So guys, if you want me to do a full review of this kit, the Millennium MPS 850, just comment down below and we'll see if we can do that. I think, you know, by hook or break hook, whether you like it or not, I'm going to do a full review of this kit. The features of it, kung ano yung mga, what this has to offer, um, how much, like the cost of it, and the durability, whatever and whatnot. So, sa mga katambols natin dyan, abang-abang lang kayo. And for everybody else, please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you'll know more about me uh, on the next videos. Okay? So, stay safe, wear your mask, and peace.